huge shocker in the Winter Olympics world as Italy announced it will not host bobsledding, skeleton, or luge in the 2026 Games. Instead, those events will happen in another country at another venue. Officials say it comes down to money for a track. News specialist Dan Rascone is covering this story and has reaction. Dan? Yes, this is a huge announcement for those athletes trying to compete in the sliding events in the next Winter Olympic Games. Many of them coming here to the Utah Olympic Park to train, including one athlete from Ghana who says he got the news at 5 o'clock this morning. Love their sport. It's thrilling. It's, it's, uh, it's energizing. A quasi frimpong has no fear. Traveling down a solid sheet of ice head first with his chin just inches from the ground at 80 to 90 miles per hour. It's only crazy people, so somehow I fit in that group. A quasi who is from Ghana actually trains here. And this is uh, what I call home. At the Utah Olympic Park in Park City, he's hoping to make it to Italy in 2026 to compete in the skeleton event for his country, which would be his second Olympics. But his life changed early this morning. A huge shocker, uh, you know, I think for the, for the Olympic world, for winter athletes. When he got a call at 5.30 a.m. that the skeleton, bobsled, and luge events will not be happening in Italy, but at another venue in another country. A tough blow. It's difficult, you know, being at the 2018 Olympic Games, making knowing that you were there with everybody else, seeing all the athletes, the opening ceremony, the closing ceremony, the training, exchanging pins, eating together in the in the village. It's it's such a it's such a cool experience, and I'm not sure what that will look like um, going forward in Milano Cortina. But Aquasi is not about to throw in the towel. He plans to continue his intense training with a positive attitude that the Olympic Games are still the Olympic Games no matter where they are held. If this is the best solution that I think we should all just, you know, stand behind it and find a way to make it uh, the best possible Olympic Games. You have to be optimistic and you have to be positive, right? Yeah, still a lot of unanswered questions out there as to which country the sliding events will be held. Also, some of the activities out there, will they be able to attend opening ceremonies or closing ceremonies? So it's a lot of things still up in the air. At the Utah Olympic Park, I'm Dan Rascone for KSL 5 News.